Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Duane, K -Z oh, no, that's KO4VNX. And he says, Good sir, I'm trying to get my DMR fix. I have a GT5R after watching a review, but I started with the UV5R, which I only intended for using on boats marine channels and somewhere in between got a dv5r i'm not exactly sure what a dv5r is i should look that up how do i program talk groups in chirp uh, chirp to my knowledge is only on the cusp of providing programming capability for digital radios it normally does the analog radios um, I mean, there's no dreadfully fundamental difference between programming one or the other. Um, I believe RT Systems does some of that. Let's look up the DV5R. That's the UV5R. UV5R. GT5R? Is that what we were looking for? DV5R. I'm not finding it. I'm wondering if you're meaning the GT5R. The GT5R is a um, analog-only radio. Um, it won't do DMR, okay? And you'll have to get the programming software straight from, from here, okay? I did a review some time ago on the GT5R. It's a nice radio. It's like the UV5R, except it complies with uh, FCC output specifications very nicely. Uh, they have shown that they can do that. Uh, the answer is, why don't they do that on all their radios? It's one of the first things I test, is whether or not the radio meets FCC emissions requirements. It's an extremely simple test. I get my tiny spectrum analyzer out, hold the radio near it. This is the tiny spectrum analyzer. And so I just turned it on, hold the radio near it, and you get the uh, harmonics and so on. And on a lot of radios, there are a lot of harmonics. So I do test that on radios. What you're doing is trying to use an analog radio and use it for DMR it doesn't work that way. You need a DMR radio for that to happen. Um, so make sure that you're dealing with a true DMR radio before you do that. Um, Chirp will program the... Um, what is this, GT5R? The GT5R will program that using the UV5R uh, programming software from Chirp. I know, I've done it. So there is one extra parameter in there that they were going to have uh, Chirp updated for. I don't know if that has ever happened. The GT5R is a very nice little radio. It costs a little bit more but it's FCC compliant, you won't be interfering with your friends, and very nice little radio. So um, I guess my answer is, if you want to do DMR, you're going to have to get a, uh, DV, a, di a digital DMR radio, it's a Chinese one. Uh, I have not seen Chirp do any talk groups or anything like that, but they're going to have to be starting to do that because they're getting a lot more and more and more digital radios. Now, let me tell you an insight that I've gained uh, from reviewing Chinese radios. I get a lot of them for review from a bunch of different companies. And more and more, they're skipping the digital and just doing analog. And I think the reason they're doing that is because the digital radios are not selling nearly as much as the analog radios. Now the weird thing about that is that all of the digital radios are also perfectly good analog radios, okay, for FM. But there you have it. That's kind of what's happening in the industry. Sorry I don't have a more specific answer for you, but Duane, I hope that helps you. 
And until we next meet, 73.